Well, we got some more randomizer action today, and this is a combination that I don't think I've actually done before. We've got ultimate cross pathing enabled, and in combination, we're gonna bring back the random projectiles mod that I covered a long time ago, but it's been a while since I did it, so let's give it a go. So as you can see, this uh, boomerang is now shooting attack, which is very bad, so let me just randomize to get a Jupiter, which is also very bad. Turns out boomerang projectiles are pretty good, who would've thunk it for an early game tower. But yeah, not a good start. And also to help you, I have now added uh, a visual in the bottom left corner where you can see what projectile we're getting. So for example, if I change this boomerang once again, you'll see I get a 011 darling. However, again, that's a very bad projectile, so uh, let me just save up to probably get, you know, I'll get a, a new projectile. This one, this starts in a really bad spot. It also shoots glue, so... Makes it even worse. I think I'll actually begin to try now because uh, so far this run, I have not even been thinking about what I'm for now. I've just been uh, willy nilly uh, pressing random upgrades. But the thing is, uh, like, there's a way you can kind of cheese uh, random projectiles, especially when you can choose what to upgrade. Like, for example, range is very good. Also, attack speed's really good. Damage upgrades aren't really that good because, again, the projectile you get is random, but it's a balanced random one. So, uh, again, just to uh, inform those who don't know, it gets you a random projectile between 0.8 and 1.2 times the total cost of the tower. I'm gonna get this. I know it's a damage upgrade, but I just want to change the projectile again. And it's still a really bad one, a 100. So let me just uh, keep rolling. 132, this is a blade shooter. I think that's better than Darkling, so I'll keep it for now. But yeah, now that I'm putting my tri tri pants on, why am I not dropping stuff like tax shooters? Because we already know those are insanely good compared to a Dark Monkey. Says, you know, this is one projectile. This is 8. I know it's like randomish or like doesn't aim, but if we get like a seeking projectile, if you get lucky with that, then yeah, sky's the limit. And also because the towers can be, or rather I can cheese it very easily with like textures and all that, I want to impose a limit of only one type of tower. So uh, nobody saw that dart monkey. So yes, that means it's all gonna be down to this one tack, at least for the early game here. I'm gonna get more range. Uh, pretty much all three of these upgrades are insanely good. More projectiles, more attack speed. Range, yeah, what's not to like? I think we're already doing pretty decently with a 1-2-1 one, one dart. Oh, no, nope. <laughs> yeah, I lied. Sanctuary is definitely a toughie. Let me go ahead and get a uh, Supermarine. This is a 1-1-0 one, one, dart monkey. I think it's all but certain a dat, so okay. Now that I've explained to you how this combination mod works, let's actually uh, try. So the boomerang's shooting the attack. The dart monkey is shooting the boomerang. And what is the attack shooting? Well, it's now shooting Glue Gunner, which I don't want. Alchemist, I'll take it. We got a 222 attack shooting 021 bomb shooters, which is pretty good. However, it still doesn't have enough range to clip that, you know, left side there when Sanctuary is, or this middle platform is on the right or left side. I mean, I guess on this note, let me just get my Darling Gun right now. Shooting a 002 wizard. Oh, this is great. Yeah, in fact, this is one of the towers that benefit greatly from this mod because, again, the main base startling is one pierce, so I think this wizard shoots seven pierce at a time. Pretty solid. Yeah, so solid that I'll just keep in this three line right now and have it locked in place in the middle. I don't want to buy camo in the event that I lose it, so let me get a camo or try to get another camo tower up for it next round here, okay? So if I remember correctly, both the tower and the projectile has to have camo, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty low likelihood. Two one wizard does not see camo, so I'll do one two zero. That does not see it. One three one does not see it. Yeah, this ain't good. I'll do sharper darts. Two zero two spectre. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's how you do it. And this uh, projectile throws it straight in the middle, so that's even better, I guess. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure because this, this shoots twelve darts at a time, this is also a stack of twelve. So we pretty much got a perma spike at home on round forty. Like, just look here. Yeah, instant death. I kind of figured that this mod would be uh, pretty broken, if you saw how random projectiles were. Even that alone without ultimate cross batting could lead to some pretty crazy stuff. Alright, let's not wait too long now or else I'll die. So let's get a decamo option. I don't think actually that the decamo works. Like, now that the projectile is different. So for example, this sub now is a 2 3 tack, which is really bad. 3 0, zero Razor Bur Rotor Hell. I'm pretty sure it shoots the main dart out. We're just doing a test here though, right? Yeah, okay. So it does not see camo either. It doesn't see camo. Again, neither does giving a camo village, but I'm just gonna do one just for the range because it would probably help. Now, I think it's time to get rid of this guy. And, uh, right. We want attack speed. Attack speed and amount of projectile. So 022 is pretty, 
pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. Seekin and Shurikens, but with them being like two Pierce, I think we'll go for the Buckshot now. There. Not gonna lie, this looks pretty sick, but it is only a 2 0 0 Super Monkey with very little Pierce. So we'll do Hydro Rock. Right, this increases attack speed too, doesn't it? I think so, and uh, just my luck, we have to get the same the same projectile. 142 Darling, which prioritizes Hydro Rocket first, I believe. It's honestly not that strong, but I'm gonna keep it for now because it is account protection, and I need that. So let me use this time to just probably get more damage to help out. So OD got a Morglaves OD, which is honestly, you know what? It, it's it's cool looking. I'm gonna keep it. Let's go for a triple shot Dart Monkey now, uh, and see what we can get while slowly upgrading. Yeah, the thing is with Ultimate Cross, I think I have more options, more uh, lives to randomize to something luckier. So. Right now, none of that looks really good at all. So let me just keep on randomizing. 223 Alchemist. Do I get $50 from the lights here? Also, you might notice that there's an error coming up. That's probably gonna happen when we're combining mods and having a bunch of random combinations. I'm just gonna skip or do a new one in case that was culprit. Yeah, this error keeps popping up. I think in a case like this, I'm just gonna get rid of you. Guess it wasn't really doing much damage anyways. We can always get it back later. But let's work on uh something cooler. 112 Super, nope. Alk buff? That doesn't work right now. Nah. <laughs> Alk buffs are not allowed in this challenge. I think Morglaves increase attack speed. This has to be a 444 attack. I can't tell what prioritizes, but it looks like it's shooting blanks. Actually, it's doing damage, but I legit can't see a thing right now. I think it's shooting out the Ring of Fire attack, if you ask me. So, it, I guess I'll keep it for like 63. Granted, we probably have enough uh, Malt damage already, or Bloom damage with. This thing over here. But yeah, here's these three fellas. Take a look at the Srams and watch the boomerang just like two shot them. So it's invisible but deadly. Anyways, I think it's time with 17k to do Super Monkey. Admin camo. We got an 040 ninja. Nope. 030 Dartling. I'll keep that as well, I guess. Yeah, I guess on that note, since the both of these hit camo, we can feel free to try a rocket storm. I think these are the destroyer projectiles coming out. What if we use Rocket Storm? It shoots out it uh I think it's also destroyer missile, so it's very important to get a good projectile. Especially with the ability. 241 sub isn't very strong, but it's kinda of fun to look at, so I suppose I'll keep it for now. Yeah, if we use Rocket Storm here. Does that seek all the darts? No, it doesn't seem like it. Also, you might be wondering, uh, how does the beast handler work with Random projectiles? Well, it doesn't, because it doesn't shoot any projectiles. So sadly, uh, yeah, that new tower is gonna have pretty much zero use in a challenge like this. Anyways, I think I forgot to go for a Jitsu, which is very good, because five projectiles, and it's an ice projectile, so I'll skip it. And we have a reactor projectile right now, which, uh, I think that just shoots the dart, right? Yeah, it's just the dart. So frankly, not very useful. Let me just see how 76 is. 78, I think, might kill me, because I don't have Again, D camo. That doesn't exist in a game like this. 332 mortar. I guess if we get like a what do you call it? A shimmer projectile or a signal flare, then that would be it. I think we'll keep the mortar for now, because it's kinda of funny. We're basically getting five mortar stuns, shell shocks, stacked atop top each other with Bernie stuff too, so. If only it was in a better placement, but we'll keep that for now. And yeah, again before I die, let's get bads up. This shoots out glue storm glue. I'm skipping. Or is your 5 tack? I gotta skip that. 1, 2, 5, ice. Oh, well, I think I just killed myself because uh, I don't have enough money for Plasma Accelerator, guys. And I think my only camo is this thing. L let me just verify. Well, this and this. Maybe I can quickly... You know what? Let me quickly change this. 4, 3, 0, ninja. No, I gotta, I gotta switch that. Switch. Switch. No, that's a GG. Everything I got end up not being camo. Actually, hang on. The flash bomb actually still works. On the ninja... And actually, I think this thing came in clutch. I guess I wasn't kidding when this when I said this thing was basically a premise bike at home. And we got it again on round 30. Anyways, there's no camos for like 10 plus rounds, so I'm gonna use this time to get more. Uh, another bug, sadly. And usually when we run into a bug like this, uh, it, it doesn't go away with upgrading the tower. Now, I can't tell you what, what this is, but it's definitely a mortar. <laughs> uh, I'd love to keep it. Yeah, you guys can't tell, but I'm seeing basically an error message pop up multiple times per second. In fact, pretty much every time it shoots out, it's giving the same- it's throwing the same error on the console. I mean, it's not crashing the game, so technically I could keep it. 
And you know what? I will keep it, but only for a couple more rounds. And then I'll, uh, again. Because uh, I want you guys to see what upgrades we're getting. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I think we'll finally get rid of it now, okay? So, let's see. What are we gonna get now with our uh, tower? 350 wizard? I'm gonna try for Robo. Yeah, it's throwing another error. This, we got a huge jug this time, though. If you ask me, it probably has something to do with the Robo Monkey shooting uh, two guns at once. Because it seems to not throw an error any time between then, so... Okay, let's let's avoid that then, okay? We'll just do an 022. This, unfortunately, does not shoot sticky bomb, so... Next. 434 Druid throws the Thorn only. Bad. We got Impale. Oh, well. <laughs> we can we can skip this guy then, because this is, this is also Impale, but I think it was a 125. So this one can deal with the... Uh, DT is just fine. Yeah, this is insane. If only it had a bit more range for rounds where the platform is on the very uh, right side, it would be an instant win. I think right now I still have to kind of keep this, though. I think I'll probably get rid of the uh, ninja, right? Yeah, it's been 5k in this. Now, abilities aren't randomized, so I think I can still use Sabo to my advantage, which is cool and all. Um, Let me uh, try again, though. 334. I think it's just shooting out heli darts. And here's 95. Uh, I can't I can't tell if that's gonna reach the middle or not. So let's go for quickly another camo upgrade and pray for something good. So we definitely want quad darts on the faster attack speed. And something oh, 133 mortar. If this works the way I think it should, it should decam DTs to allow other towers to hit it. I'll use a sapo too, because I guess I have it. Oh crap, I'm dead. No. Uh I leaked one ceram somehow. But no more. Okay, that was kind of scary. I think it kind of, uh, did the job, though. I'm gonna get rid of this thing now, this tack. 402 Ninja, not very good. 024 Spike Factory is pretty decent, not gonna lie. Yeah, we're shooting out, uh, stacks of 16 Deadly Spikes at once. Granted, I wish it was 104, and I wish it had, uh, lead popping, because right now the, the Impale is actually not working, synergizing with this. Like, I'm pretty sure if a Frozen Bloom hits this, all the Spike Balls go away, which... Is very bad news. Should we just uh, risk it for the biscuit? Go for the tax zone. Also, if we do a maelstrom, uh, it's the same projectile. Just for those wondering. You know what? Let's try. Darling Gunner 044. Yeah, that hit. Fro that hits frozen. So it's technically better than uh, the normal attack shooter. Um, it still doesn't work against DDTs though, does it? Oh, I, I should also sabo. What am I doing? What am I doing? Don't forget, I think the Gorgon's from ability stuns. So that's nice and all. And after the bad, uh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, if only the uh, the bad came from the right side. But I think we're not going to get any shots on this, will we? Oh no, it, the Ice Skull and Pale lifespan doesn't even reach it. But hang on, I think this... Oh, that was close. I think this thing was actually uh, still doing some insane damage. Okay, I still want to see if we can clutch up without spending too much on other stuff. So let me sell this, that sub, just to get, I don't know, something better. So... Uh... Uh, 304 Alk, no. Yeah, none of these, uh, upgrades are very good on the sub, but I'll keep this, for, I guess. I am also missing Druid. Yeah, eight, eight projectiles per shot is pretty nutty. Let's just see what we can get. One, one, Spike Factory. Uh, I'll skip. Need a beefy projectile, please, and thank you. Monk, ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> I used up all my money, and I end up with this. Well, here goes nothing. I'm pretty sure we just got worse projectiles than last time. Just judging by how this looks. Yeah, this is really bad. But, uh, the Gorgon Storm clutches up. Yeah, because remember, this is, this is shooting Impale Projectile, so I'll, I'll keep this, because this gets 50 damage uh, every time I use the ability for every little Projectile there is, which is a lot of, so... Yeah. Definitely don't under, underestimate that. She's a Keeper. Or, uh, I guess they're a Keeper, because again, uh, these monkeys are genderless. Anyways, I, I gotta spend 5k to remove this Druid, because it's not... Shooting a good projectile, I don't think. I was also kind of considering re-randomizing the boomerang here, but I'm gonna keep it. Morp glue, super hypersonic morp glue is pretty, pretty cracked, not gonna lie. And again, this sub ended up being pretty much a waste of money, so whatever. We'll upgrade this tax shooter to get a trait Empire Buccaneer. Nah, dude. Uh, now we got Inferno Ring, which, uh, let's see if it's invisible projectiles again. Yeah, look here. When it gets in range, look how much damage it does. It's definitely shooting invisible Inferno Ring, so... We keep this, guys. We keep this. I think we could probably just make it the rest of the way, provided... Again, we get the decamel properly with the ninja. 
Okay, we're still lacking bad damage. So what tower did I not drop yet? Uh, probably Buccaneer. We definitely want to get a Destroyer with, I don't know, Grape. We'll go for uh, something until I see something good in the randomizer that does good damage. So uh, no, no. Uh, I think I'll keep Arcane Spike. It's, it's pretty solid, it seems. Yeah, more than solid, in fact. Okay, so uh, quickly, let's also get a Triple Dart to uh, 411 Heli. Another projectile or another uh, another bug. So I'll just sell it. I'm pretty sure the Inferno Ring, uh, this guy, was the reason why we just beat the bat there. And looks like, again, the Super Monkey, if it was in the middle, it would literally destroy every round. So let's take a look here. Um, No, it, that doesn't seem like the one doing the most damage. There's only a couple thousand there. It looks like the Arcane Spike. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty beefy damage-wise. Also, don't look now, but somehow the Druid got 1.3 million pops. I'm pretty sure, again, it was like an Alchemist uh, attack. Yeah, it was like a concoction. Crap, that was a bad idea then to get rid of it. Oh, well. This thing turned into, I think, the 004 Darling that you see down there right now. But anyways, I'm pretty sure uh, there's not much else for me to get. I guess I didn't do Sniper yet. I forget how this works with projectiles, because uh, it still works. It still works as you see. Definitely should get Elite Defender and keep going until I get something insane. All right, 4 for 4. We stop. That's the good stuff right there, folks. It, it looks like Deadly Spike, but it's actually also shooting, I think. It's also getting the extra mold damage from the uh, middle path. And I think the Spike Mines, I see some explosions, which I think are coming from the Sniper. Now, I didn't really have an angle here, but I guess 140 would be a good one. So, um, let's see how uh, we're doing. No, that's really bad. Yeah, even with the Inferno Ring and the uh, Sniper, it's not enough. Well, it's close, actually. It's close. If I had saved the Gorgon Storm for the DTs there, maybe I could have clutched up. Let's try it one more time, though. Okay, I guess I'm gonna buy the first strike just for the uh, 10k damage. Yeah, this is gonna come down to the wire yet again. So, Gorgon Storm now. First strike. I mistimed it. Yeah, if I time it properly, though, I think we can nuke the insides. Or at least the DTs. Better get this again, or else I'll have to spend more monkey money to clutch up here. So, first strike now. I hope I still mistimed it. All right, how about now? First strike, very late. Beautiful. So, Sabo? Uh, and then what? And then what? I don't have a stun mo no more. I guess I can hook in one. I'm... No, I'm not dead. Right, Impale, Impale. I forgot. Well, that's how you beat... That's how you beat an F-Bat, I guess. And yeah, with the Zero Monkey on this side here, no problem for the second bat. And there it is. Late Game Sanctuary has officially been slain. And uh, pretty much doing a call here, but just as a bonus... We'll see what kind of crazy projectiles we can get, just uh, to end it off here. So I'm starting off with the Sniper here. Um, and none of this is good at all. Well, we only got two, two rerolls left for the Sniper here, so uh, another crappy one. Yikes. Huge yikes. I'll sell uh, one, two, and three. And two, zero, five, Dartling. Ugh, nope. Turns out the best Sniper was the one that we had uh, way earlier. Well, <laughs> that's going to do it, I guess. Thanks for watching. And to no one's surprise, Super Monkey with the most pop, 6.9 million. Nice. Randomizers are fun, so stay tuned for more of them, I guess. See ya.